I was so excited yesterday when I participated in the DIME event for the In the Hoot Designer Program that I wanted to take a moment and share with you how the, the software operates, but I hope that you have time to sign up for the event and watch for yourself. So if you own Dime software, it runs under the free program that's called Embroidery Toolshed. With Embroidery Toolshed, you can change the thread color on your designs. You can watch them play out and you can print templates and things like that. Each of the programs that you purchase from Dime are listed over here on the side of the screen. And as I hover over them, I can see the name of the program. But I want to talk about In The Hoop Designer. With the In The Hoop Designer, the following icons are added to my menu bar. These icons are accessible if I'm, for instance, working in Perfect Embroidery Pro. I can hop over and create an In The Hoop Design very quickly. So I'll go ahead and I can select In The Hoop Wizard here, or I can go up here to my menu bar. I'll choose Open, and here are some of the templates. Now you'll notice that there are some that have what's called a frayed edge. That means that it's a satin stitch border, and then some have a turned edge. We'll just go ahead and select this template here and choose OK. If you want to change any part of this design, you can do so. But this is really cute for a banner, for instance, for one of your sewing buddies. And you could take this and customize it and add their name if you want it, or you can change the design. To change the design, you'll go to Library, and let's see if we see sewing, sewing and crafting, and let's say that your friend is a knitter instead. We'll choose OK, and let's go ahead and see that uh, we have this handmade, so let's say Keep calm. How about knit on? So we'll change that to knit. And we'll go ahead and apply it. Oh, that's so cute. Now there are instructions. Let me mention one thing. You notice here that you have the size or dimension of this. This is the original size. You can resize it. However, uh, if you want to know your fabric requirements, then what you want to do is to leave it to original size. Otherwise, what you need to do, if you resize it, you need to determine the dimensions of the fabric pieces that you need. You'll find out what stabilizers to use. You'll, you'll notice that <clears throat> it shows you step by step exactly what you need to do. Let me go ahead and go back into the software and let's choose OK. Now I'll click over here on the side and let's go into realistic view. Is that not cute? You can change so many things to this even on this screen. Let's say that you wanted this uh, knitting to be a different color. You can do that. So what we need to do is find this portion of the design, and I just clicked on it. All I need to do is to right click on a colored chip, and now I've changed that color. If I don't like it, I can choose undo. I can change the background. You can see here it has an echo, echo stitch, and let me find the background. We'll open this up and we'll go ahead and, and select this. You notice that it has a shape and that shape has created a pattern here. So let's look at some other shapes. So let's see what we have here. 
We'll choose circles and apply. So now that you see the circle shape, let's choose a motif stitch and we'll leave it this size and choose apply. If that's too small, you can change it. You can even add stippling. So you see that we have stippling. We'll leave it, let's change it to Hibbert. I'm going to change this to 10 and apply. And that was just a guess on my part. I like my stippling a little farther apart. Now, if you wanted to watch this stitch out and see how it's going to stitch out, all you have to do is select the slow redraw. I'll just drag the bar and you can see how this design is going to stitch out. So if you print your instructions out, you can follow along with that. Isn't it easy? Okay, let's try something new. So let's choose File, New. So you've seen how a template works. You also have shapes that are built in. Let's say that one of your friends owns a Cocker Spaniel and you want to create a neckerchief. So here's the shape of that. This is actually artwork. And because it's artwork, that means that you can apply stitches to it. I just clicked on the line to select it. And let's say I want that to be, have a steel border. I can convert it to an applique if I want by selecting convert to applique. And I can have a running stitch and a steel stitch. All right, <clears throat> let's choose File New. Let's look at the next category. So we had the wizard, we have shapes, we have designs. There are more than a thousand designs here. Let's just look at a couple of the categories. So this is sports and hobbies. Let's say that you're making something for a sports team and you want to create a banner and let's say that it's basketball. We'll choose OK. I'll click off and let's actually look at this in realistic view. That is so easy. Now the overall size of this design, if you go to the transform icon, it shows you the size of the design. It's 3.94 by 3.87. You can easily change that. We'll choose File New. The next category that we have are called charm designs. Now charms are small designs and I think they're so cute. You can add them to so many things. I want you to look at this cactus. I think it's the cutest little design ever. Let's say that that's what you want to stitch on something and you want to add some lettering. So what I'm going to do is just click here and We'll leave it at ball house, but I'm going to make this 0.5 and apply. And let's just type the word cactus. And we'll apply it. All right. And if you want it to be smaller, let's just make it 0.35 and apply it. And we'll just move this right here. How easy is that? If I want to recolor it, I select it. And I'll use the selection tool to do that. And I right click and let's see, let's make this kind of a hot melony pink. There you go. All right, so we had, let's go back. We have the In the Hoop Wizard, the shape, the designs, and the charms. But we also can create cut files. We can actually digitize the outline 
of something. If we have, say, a background file, we have other shapes that we can use. Let's choose a rectangle, and you can see how easy it is to create that shape. All I need to do is choose selection. Again, this is artwork. All I have to do to add stitches to it is to convert it to a run stitch. You also have options to create a carousel of designs. Right now I have not selected the designs. You can scatter designs and so much more. So I suggest that you either download the trial and try it out or you participate in the event and purchase it at the event price. I'm Terry Maffitt. Please join me in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Avenir and Luminaire. And join me on YouTube. And again, that's Terry Maffitt. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.